Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. I'm joined today by Strandy42. We've got a really incredible haul video, uh, which uh, took us by surprise. <laughs> it kind of came out of nowhere. It's all thanks to Strandy and our buddy Eric. First of all, do you want to do a little backstory, Strandy? Yeah, my buddy Eric. He hit me up on Instagram a couple weeks ago. It was when we did our review of the 20th character pack and we did the live, the live stream. stream. He sent me a message saying, yo, you're friends with him? I didn't know that. He's one of my favorite YouTubers. Yeah, so he hit me up and I was like, dude, that's awesome. Uh, one of these days, when we uh, do some gaming and stuff, we'll let you in. And then a couple weeks later, he hit me up with a bunch of uh, sets that he had picked up in a haul, asking for, like, what are they worth? fun. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> and then afterwards, he was like, yo, are you interested in any? And I was like, well, uh, yes, I would be, but I'm broke. And he goes, no, dude, I want to gift it to you. And I was like, so this guy is the ghost. Absolute freaking legend. Eric asked if I wanted anything. Uh, the only thing I asked for was, well, We'll you'll see, you'll see in a second. Let's change up this angle and check out this incredible haul. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Feast your eyes. This is a really exceptional haul. Like my <laughs> mind is still blown. Your uh, your eyes will be taken to a few key items, and we're going to show them off one by one. But overall, just awesome. Man. Absolutely like, incredible, dude. When he sent me a bunch of pictures of things that I could choose from, I, at first I was only going for a couple small things because I didn't want to go too much. Yeah, of course. You want to be polite. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. But then I said, hey, these are some of my more interesting parts that I would be curious in. All of the uh, Faithful versus Fallen, this original tank, Hornet versus Watchtower, and then the Spec Ops. I was long shooting and then he just said, yeah. He said, go for it. I'll, I'll send it. And Eric, dude, Seriously, I really do appreciate it. I would have never gotten my of hands course. on these before. And what on earth is this dog? That is a Lego target dog. Yeah, it's, uh, I thought it was the target eye. It is the target eye. It actually does have a normal eye on the other side. Oh, he fun. threw that in because uh, he had access to it, and I really appreciate it. It's going to go on my uh, wall somewhere cool. So Eric uh, likes to buy and sell mass lots, right, of Lego? From my understanding, that is what he does. Mm. And he flips stuff kind of like what you do. I mean, flipping is profitable as long as you're not, you know, going overboard. You don't want to offer a price that's more than any of the, at least any of the sold items on eBay. But yeah, flipping is a great trade, especially if you get mega from uh, Facebook Marketplace. Mm -hmm. I always search, like once a day, I just search Halo Lego, Halo Toys, Halo Mega, and see what comes up. Obviously, uh, and I recommend this for any search engine on the internet, always search Halo Mega, because that's that that covers Mega, Mega Blocks, Mega Constructs, everything. Yeah, so uh, let's break these down one by one, shall we? So first of all, I do see something that uh, has started to get a real cult following, I think, in the Mega community. These metallic ODSTs with um, with the shark fin etchings on them. I do remember being very dedicated to trying to get that full wave when they first came out. There's and did a you? silver and a red one that is also there. And I did end up getting mm -hmm. all four yeah. of them. They're really nice. And um, Mega should definitely make some shark fin new mold ODSTs. But they were nice and they have good paint apps. Sometimes oh, the shark fins can be a bit janky. But it's also really nostalgic for me because these were in goodie bags at Blocksfest at one point. Oh, that's well. awesome. Yeah, yeah, when yeah. we're talking about ODSTs, this is so beautiful. So excited about that. It actually finishes off all of the drop original drop pods for me. Mm -hmm. So that does make me very happy. That's the last original drop pod. Yeah, and hand painted, isn't hand it? Hand painted, that's right? That's so um, crazy. As far as I'm concerned, they are hand painted. Uh, have you got those ones over there? So Strandy brought the full collection so we could have a look at. These two Arctic drop pods tell me without a shadow of a doubt that they are hand painted. Look at that. Yeah, These completely are completely different. different paint apps. Like, of course, that could be done with a machine, probably but not, I don't think, to the same degree. They were just so nice. And yeah, these original drop pods, they came with these landing uh, fins. fins. You can have them uh, sort of stationary, or you can have them like they're, uh, they've just been deployed. They're like stabilization fins, aren't they? Mm -hmm. They stabilize the they drop pod as it's falling and then it breaks off. So yeah, you got the uh, the final one in your collection. Yep. And these doors do open like that. that so you can cool. put a backpack there, you can put a weapon there. These also helped finish off getting the ODSTs because I did end up picking the drop pods without them. I you got the drop pods from me, didn't you? Yeah. Yep, I did a good few of them. And I just absolutely adore how good of paint jobs these were. Mm -hmm. yeah, and they were exceptional. We low key figured out something kind of cool oh, that yeah, yeah. Simon will probably show you later. Oh, yeah. We did figure out something very cool about these uh, ODSTs as well. The new release of the ODST Hive Exterminators. Low key is a reimagining of that original uh, set. Like, so these are the ODST Hive Exterminators. And, and this then was these a... are the ODST, so this is kind of a new mold Avery, which someone uh, on a video suggested. Honestly, these are kind of reimagines of uh, the originals. That's cool. Man. The only thing we're cool. missing is a modern red one, mm. which 
I think we'll, a lot of it will be willing. Well, Meg is going all hands in with the ODSTs at the minute, and I saw a fun uh, theory on one of my videos. Somebody said, what if the reason that Mega is making so many ODSTs is because they know that a future season of Infinite is ODST-based? You don't know, you That's never know, sweet. you never That's know. That's pretty sweet. You never know. Uh, so this, uh, yeah, these drop pods, absolutely exceptional. So many paint apps as well. You've got this mud splatter, but then you've also got this uh, this sort of mossy strip. Like it's a jungle. Version. Yeah, sort of, uh, sort of dry brushing on the back. Yeah. Yeah, so the one thing I said I wanted from this haul, the Arctic CTF Warthog. I never actually got this, I keep on knocking things up. I never actually got this back in the day, um, so it was really nice to finally get. I didn't actually realize it had blue seats. I would love to do a proper review of this at some point. It was interesting because I asked uh, Eric if he had the full set of figures, and he sent two full sets of figures. Just so Strandy's cute. keeping one. Uh, yeah, so we've got a Recon, Rogue, and the Mark 7. And they do look so good. So good. They look so good yeah. there. I love Rogue. Uh, yeah, we definitely need more. And uh, yeah, another full set. Yes. Along yes. with the Spec Ops figures. The Spec Ops combat unit. Especially yeah. this Mark IV is absolutely insane when it comes to that shoulder print. Yep. Insane. Yep. Yep. Well, this one's got the chest print. Uh, some of the others have shoulder prints. The, oh, I'm sorry. Marines, yeah, that's a chest print. The Marines have the shoulder prints. That's so f Yeah, it's so, so good, awesome. dude. It's so good. And, you know, Marines, they used to only come uh, masked. Then they had two different half-masked ones. They were definitely the start of the uh, unmasked Marines. Then, of course, we've got the Faithful versus Fallen pack. All the Spartans are repeated exactly the same between Faithful all and of their, Fallen. All of their Halo Reach yeah. variants. Yeah, it was pretty much a celebration of Reach at the time. Time, and the standout figure of all of them to me is this uh, zombie Emil. So the cool part about this was it actually came out when Halo 5 got its infection mode. Right, Because yeah. they were really big into the translucent green and the t baby blue mm. Spartans for Halo 5, which was actually really cool. And it was a Halo Reach themed season and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was exactly. It was pretty unique. And Mega also really enjoyed doing the orange figures at the time. Yep. Like the orange versus uh, so, sort of Last Man Standing set. So I got these super excited. I didn't actually realize how awesome this pilot figure was. The pilot's cool. Uh, yeah, it's got it a good wash on him. Significantly better. And then, yeah. of course, the red Vusa. Yep. Oh, got an interesting mark on the chest. Mm. I don't think I've ever seen that before. I think that's penned on or something. What's especially cool about this set, which is just like Mega going above and beyond to color coordinate, is the fact that the jackal comes with a red shield for the first time and only time. Yeah, that is. And that's sweet. so badass. It really just it, it means that every figure, when you pick it up, you can just be like, oh, that's from this set because exactly. everything's just color coordinated. The Hornet, as people know, is my favorite ever set. And I will say, I I doubted you. I I didn't see it, but now that I have it in hand, I I do get why. It's the this best, is, it's the best it set ever. Pretty sweet. It's the best set ever. I mean, for so many reasons, the step up from the old Hornet to this was massive. I love these railings. Yeah, you only seem to have one. That's all right. These missile firing pods, so cool. awesome. Spinning turbines. There were a lot of good stickers that came with this, and even the chain gun spins. That's so cool. And then the fact that it comes with this Covenant Watchtower, which and I, this, I know it's a bit flimsy. This was why I wanted it. Mm -hmm. Actually, I really been wanting a Covenant Watchtower like mm -hmm. this. And every time you'd say this was your favorite set, I was like. The tower is yeah, where it's at yeah. for me, and I love it. Yeah. I know it's a bit flimsy of a tower, but it's so good, and it's far better than any other tower we've got, especially the Brute Lance one, which, you yeah. know, obviously that Brute Lance was a cheap set, so you exactly. can't knock it. And also, yeah, we were talking about this. Really nice piece. It's just so cool. Dude, and this is old. This they, is old. They had oh, cool this is stuff like, back then. This is like year two or year three, yeah. And, and the then final one. the yeah. top it off. We're going to just slide everything out from underneath. Bam. Tank beats everything. I am so blown away that he was will Eric, thank you so much for this. I would have never been able to pick this up by myself. Mm -hmm. um, I just never would have been able to justify it. Oh, I think those lights but, are an addition. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I think they're added. That's all right. Look at those Look at the janky place stickers Gotta there. Gotta love it. Also, I mean, just your classic figures. Also, mm. look at how huge, huge. The SMG is used to be massive. so big. Absolutely massive. There's also... I mean, look at the, the comparisons oh. right there. That's a huge difference. There's one more huge. Are y'all ready for this? I don't a think y'all ready. Gun. Look at how big that is. <laughs> It's so funny. It's like the length of the figure. <laughs> Honestly, it's so it's so janky. Eric, big shout out to you, man. Thank you very much for supporting the channel. I'm actually going to be uh, launching a PO box once I'm back in England full time. So there'll be plenty more of opportunities for people to like send me stuff they really want me to review or, or anything like that. I love working with people in the community. And um, yeah, the fact that you can provide this stuff and help us make a new video. I mean, most of it's going to Strandy. But the like, fact that you would be so generous as to send us this, it's just a big, big 
goat move. Absolutely appreciate it, man. Thank top you G, so much. Top G, top G. Top G. Top G, top G. So thank you very much for tuning in today. This was another video with the domain. You stay awesome. You stay super safe out there, folks. And the domain. Oh, it's, oh, go, yeah. Uh, uh, handshake. Friendship. Friendship. Friendship is signing off. Wow. Well.